So, you want Nintendo to make another chibi robo game? Well, that's not happening, so you're watching this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at a few crazy helpful tips for Blender beginners. Let's get started. So let's say you have uh, this object that has like, you know, two objects inside of it. When you hit tab to go into edit mode, you see you have these two little uh, separate, you know, entities. Maybe you want to push them together, but you don't really know how to do that. So you're like, oh my God, how do I do that? I want to move it down, but it's like, nothing's really working. So the way you can do this is super easily just going ahead and dragging a box over top of all of the vertices down here. And then the ones you want to connect, hold down shift, drag a box over those. And then go up to uh, edge and then select bridge edge loops right there. And then boom, it'll fill in all those uh, all those spaces and you can move it around and everything's perfect. It looks great. Wonderful. So this also works for things that aren't just like straight edges or lines or boxes. You can use uh, curved objects, maybe not something that's like a donut, but you know, anything that's, you know, curved or not straight. Hit tab to go into edit mode and then we can go ahead and just drag a box over top of all of these vertices here that we want to grab. Make sure you only grab the edge and not anything else. And the same thing here, hold down shift, grab all those vertices on the edge there and go up to edge and then bridge edge loops boom and before you click anywhere down here at the bottom should be a little a little drop down right open that bad boy up if it's not already open and then you can go ahead and play around with some of these settings so if you want to go ahead and make this more round you add add a couple number of cuts but you see it makes it like you know kind of you know cornered off there so we, we can fix that by messing around with the smoothness setting and as you can see we have some really, really cool stuff that you can try to eyeball this, you know what I mean? But I feel like uh, the best would probably be somewhere around, if we had go into the front-facing view, I feel like um, 550 is probably perfect, yeah, because five, uh, 0.55 looks... Yeah, 0.55 looks great. There you go. I think that's probably almost about exactly what it is by default, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. That's how you fix a little circle that's been uh, kind of discombobulated. The next tip I use basically almost every single time I open Blender, I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and tab to go into edit mode so we can see our uh, so I can so we can see our vertices of our uh, object here. And now if, if you want to select all of these vertices on the edge, you can either like, you know, just angle your camera and then select from this angle like that, which, you know, it's kind of dookie. You could also hit one on your numpad to go straight to the side view, but you'll only get the vertices that's visible to the camera unless you hit this little uh, X-ray mode right here, hit toggle X-ray, and then just grab that. And you can do this, but sometimes that's not going to be the best dep depending on what scene you have. So what you can do instead is you can go ahead and uh, just hold down Alt on your keyboard and then left click and it'll select the entire edge loop. So there you go. You can also do it down here as well. And it'll select the whole edge loop. Now, if you want to select one going in a different direction, um, so if you want to go to the left or to the right, you want to select the, you know, a ring, you just go ahead and click either to the left or the right, grab a different vertice than the one you're on, like, oh, like that, there you go, and then it'll, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll go that direction. Now, if you want to go up and down, you would go ahead and click on uh, the up and down like this. So instead of, instead of just uh, clicking to the left, you'd click up or down, depending on which one you want to uh, grab so there you go now I think it also really works it works best I think if you click the edge so don't click the vertice itself because it might give you the wrong one actually click the edge and it works really well so if you say I click the edge here not the vertice I can select every single edge loop I want to select and move that one uh, individually which is super super useful so there you go the next tip is actually super super useful uh, and it's super super quick and easy to do so let's say you want this to look a little more smooth let's go ahead and just click that bad boy and hit, go up to object shade auto smooth now it's going to bring you to the modifiers tab and you have this little angle property here so basically what it's doing is all of the angles that are under the the value that you're specifying here are being smoothed out so let's say you want this to look a little more smooth than uh than oop, than um uh, uh than that uh, but you don't necessarily want it to you know be subdivision subdivision surfaced or, or subdivided anymore you can kind of do one of these bad boys and smooth some things out a little bit which looks considerably better than uh than uh than if it was shade flat which was like that so yeah you know it's 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 not the worst thing in the world there you go that one's a it's a pretty it's a pretty cool one so i like that one quite a bit the last tip i have for you is actually for the compositor so let's go ahead and open that bad boy up right now which we can do by hitting this little compositing button up at the top here or we can just hit this little button right here and then change to the compositor manually now when this when this loads up you'll see you don't really have much going on so let's go ahead and hit use nodes and uh with uh, blender's newest uh, update we actually have the viewer node in here by default which is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie um but we can go we can go ahead and actually 
uh, press uh, a button and zoom in and out of our backdrop but we don't have a backdrop yet so go top right and hit this little backdrop button boom now we have our rendered image of our scene well, oh my wow that's what a, what a cool message that is wow that's no way anyway if you hit v on your keyboard you can zoom out and if you hit uh oops I just pressed so many wrong buttons. If you press, oh my gosh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh, dude. If you hit Alt V, there you go, V and Alt V. My keyboard's busted, so it presses Shift on its own. That's so not fun. Anyway, if you press V and Alt V, you can zoom in and out of your keyboard when you're looking at the uh, compositor here. So that's also super useful when you're doing some, uh, you know, final renders or whatever here in the compositor. Um, once again, very, very cool message. <clears throat> so those are some really, really cool uh, Blender tips for beginners. And if you enjoy this video, I make a lot of Blender videos here on the channel. So if you're new, definitely subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next tutorial. Um, but until then, bye-bye.